What is going on everybody? Welcome to my channel Woody RC. We are back up here at my local cross spot with my Red Cat Ascent 18. I made a few changes to it. I just want to see if it feels any better out here hitting the same, you know, the same lines I did with it last time I was out here with. Let me show you what I've done. All right, so these are the free mods I've done. Taking the ESC out of the back, put it right here on the side, just double-sided sticky tape. Took the um, battery tray out the back. I'm not running that big 750 milliamp battery anymore. I'm running a little 380 pack. That is just Velcro down to the side right there. And on top of that, those were the free mods. And oh, other free mods, I laid the shocks down to the um, innermost holes on the inside of the chassis. Give it a little bit more flex and makes it sit a little bit lower. And for the mods, that I've added to it that I bought. Let's go with the Endura here. This is the Endura transmission case, and these are the low range gears. Now, um, I bought just the transmission with the gears on the inside, but it wasn't meshing well with my Red Cat motor with the plastic spur gear, not spur gear, the pinion gear. So I put an Endura motor in there that also has a metal pinion gear and it meshed just perfect with the red cap motor I couldn't even get these drive shafts to turn hardly and the motor would heat up really quick so I switched out the motor to an Endura motor and on the front I've got the brass portals inner outer portals right here and that's going to add some weight up front and um, I switched out the tires to a six to four millimeter tire just want to see if I enjoy the, the clearance getting over the rocks so I don't get high centered as much. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Right off the back, I feel the low range gears feel pretty good. We got a first obstacle we're coming up on here. I can see the larger tires. Make the approach angle much, oh, much nicer. And that got over a lot easier. It, these um, larger, softer compound, S5 compound tires, these are the Endura Swamp Stompers, 64 millimeter. I was actually ab able to take this line right here with it, where I straddled both sides of the V, where the last time with the smaller tires, the harder compound RC four wheel drive tires, it kind of worked its way over this way. But with this here, the larger tires, all the weight up front now, the brass portals, I'm able to cruise right over this here. Look at that there. That is nice. Okay. Check out another line. I'm assuming it's not going to have any issues getting over this. Kind of the same type of line, but just a little smaller. But I'm already sitting down here, so let's check it out. <laughs> too easy okay so one thing I like about these little guys there's so many lines to hit that are more available to you and I haven't even moved yet from my spot here's another one right here the last time I wasn't able to hit this with the smaller tires and the older setup with the battery in the back the larger battery and the ESC in the back and I didn't have portals brass portals on the front you know, the wheels are weighted. They got the brass rings on the inside, and they did last time also. But this time, we're adding more weight with the brass portals. And a larger diameter tire. Let's see if that helps here. Approach angle is definitely much better. I'm still not able to hit it. Let's try a different approach here. And let's turn this tire. Nope. It is still too straight up and down of a line for this. I'm going to try a different angle and see what happens. Just experimenting here and going to come in from here. And try to hook it to the right. Nope, I just wanted to straighten itself out and stand straight up like that. Let's 
try it again. They set the truck up to wear the tire. Definitely a lot more squish with these S5 compounds and those other tires I had on there. And um, just curious to see what happens that I have it set up. Oh yeah. I'm getting hung up on the diff there. Ugh. Sit that back up there again, like we had it. Let's go to the right. Okay. We had to throttle out of it because we were getting hung up on the center of the diff there. Let's try this guy here. We hit this last time with the older tires on here. Let's see if he's had, yeah. He's made it also, but they made it up easier than the RC four-wheel drive compounds. These S S5 compound tires are really nice, soft, and sticky. Another here. No problem. Overall, I am liking the, the larger six to four millimeter tire. Just for all out, just coming out having fun with, um, I like in the added clearance. It doesn't have the really slow and control like the Traxxas does with the low range gears and that 87 turn motor. These are low range gears, but we're also working with an Endura 55 turn motor in here. But but plenty good enough to come out here and, and you know have some fun with it. Okay, guys. Well. That's gonna be it for this test here with this, the new setup on my Red Catacent 18. I think I'm done with the mods on this. I'm just gonna continue having fun with it the way it is. You know, unless you wanna completely go vertical with it, I don't see the point of adding any more weight to it. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching.